Well, Kit, wasn't that an incredible vacation? Excellent snow, perfect weather, great hotel, and very nice personnel. You mean you enjoyed yourself, Michael, because you were the only guest there who did not have to clean the ice off his car windows by himself? That was a nice touch. I hope the cold didn't spoil your vacation. Of course not, Michael. It was a good way to test some of my instruments under those temperature extremes. Great, then. What's our ETA on getting back to the Foundation? Well, since you wanted to take this alternative route, we have to drive through the night. I suggest you turn me over to Auto Cruise. Then you can get some rest and leave the driving to me. Well, that was a part of the plan. Michael, these roads look deserted. Don't worry so much. I know you'd prefer to stick to the highway, but then you'd miss all of this beautiful scenery. I mean, look at... Michael, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this might be quite important. My sensors detect fast-moving objects coming towards us. What are they? They're missiles, Michael. I calculate impact within 10 seconds. That doesn't sound good. Let's get out of here, pronto. My thoughts exactly. That was close. You all right, buddy? I'm fine, but more missiles are in there. Michael, a tree is blocking our way. We have to use turbo boost. Got you, buddy. Michael, there are some objects on the road blocking our way. I suggest using ski mode. Michael, these missiles are coming in too fast. I'd advise we go to Super Pursuit mode. That was close. I believe that was the last one, Michael. Hey, buddy, why didn't you scan what's left of that missile for clues while I talk to Devon? Yes, Michael. Michael, what a surprise. How are you? I've been better. Somebody just tried to shoot missiles at us. What are you telling me? We were just driving on this deserted road, and then out of the blue, these missiles show up. Kid is now scanning the debris for clues. Maybe Bonnie can look over the results and find out who's behind this. Sounds very suspicious. Listen, don't drive to the Foundation. I'll send Bonnie in your direction with the semi. You'll rendezvous halfway. And Michael. Yes, Devon? Be careful out there. Well, Kit, you heard the man. Let's get out of these mountains and find Bonnie. Well, Kit, all the damage has been repaired. You're as good as new. Thank you, Bonnie. You're welcome, Kit. Michael, I've discovered the missiles were activated by a remote control, but I've managed to intercept the signal. The broadcast is coming from 50 miles west of our current position. Devin wants you to find out the exact location. Well, Kit, you heard the lady. We've got some work to do. Ready to hit the road? Of course, Michael. Michael, please be careful. We don't know who we are dealing with. What happened here? Kit, is there anyone still around? I do not detect any signs of life, Michael. But I do sense some strange activity not so far from here. Let's check it out. Keep your sensors peeled. Of course, Michael. This looks really serious. It looks like everybody just fled. 
Indeed, Michael. Incoming data suggests this just happened recently. Look at those burn marks on the ground. I saw the same kind of marks back at the gas station. Got any idea what might cause this? I'm sorry, Michael. I scanned the marks and ran the data through several programs. But whatever it was, it created intense heat. Every stone in the ground has fused together. Hmm. Strange. What about the signal Bonnie intercepted? It's stronger. We're getting closer to the source. Come on, buddy. Let's go. We've got to find out who's behind this. Michael, the signal is very strong now. It's coming from somewhere inside this compound. Is there any way we can get inside? Perhaps if we can micro-jam the terminal over there, we can find a way to open the gate. Good thinking, buddy. Data retrieved from this terminal tells me that there are three other terminals connected to this gate. We have to find them in order to open this gate. So what are we waiting for? Let's step on it! Michael, there is no way back. I can't open the gate from here. Kit, scan for another way out of here, okay? Yes, Michael. Kit! Kit! Buddy, are we all right? What happened? I cannot say exactly, Michael. I've lost some very important functions. Another hit like this will destroy us both. I suggest we leave immediately. Same thought here. Before the impact, my scanner picked up a gate on the other side of the compound. I see it. Michael, that gate is now closing rapidly. We have to hurry. Okay, get us out of here before we're toasted. Michael, we have to go back to Bonnie immediately. I'm still very vulnerable. This road will take us to the semi. What's that? Michael, that helicopter is heavily armed. Let's step on it, buddy. Doctor will not be able to follow us into the tunnel. That was close. Let's get back to the semi. Okay, Michael. That laser is extremely powerful. More powerful than anything I've seen before. I'm worried about the impact the laser had on your condition, Kit. Not so long ago, a mysterious organization has taken over several industrial complexes in the area. The name of the organization is... Let me guess. Equus. That's amazing, Michael. How did you know? It was written on the side of the helicopter that was attacking us. Hmm. That can only mean we are on the right track. Devon, 
I've analyzed the data Kit collected from the helicopter. There was nobody inside it. Remote controlled? Like the missiles? Bonnie, I want you to find out more about this helicopter. Michael, I want you and Kit to pay another visit to one of those compounds to find out some more about Equus Industries. Be careful. Of course, Mr. Miles. I've installed an additional power pack in Kit. I've also uploaded a new program into Kit's computer. Kit can now recharge his power packs from any object that generates electricity using the micro jammer. That's great, Bonnie. Kit, let's go. We have no time to waste. What are those things? Robots? That seems to be the case, Michael. And they are heavily armed, too. They're coming this way! Kit, keep your sensors up. I have a bad feeling about this place. Of course, Michael. My voice analyzer detects a small change in your voice pattern. Michael, are you afraid? Well, no. Are you? Michael, you know very well that it is not possible for me to experience that kind of emotion. I was only joking, Kit. You should try it once in a while. It eases the tension. Kit, what is this? Michael, it is a laser protection system. Why all this security? What are they hiding? My sensors indicate we cannot pass through these lasers. There is no room to maneuver between the laser beams. We have to find a way to disable it. Kit? Yes, Michael? Would you mind putting on your headlights, please? Not at all, Michael. But may I suggest we keep a low profile and use night vision instead? Good thinking, pal. This place is huge! What are those, pal? They look like large industrial fuel tanks, Michael. So many? I hope there are no robots around. If it gets to a fight, the whole compound might blow up, including us. Indeed, Michael. These tanks contain enough fuel for an entire fleet of airplanes. I'm wondering who needs so much fuel in a place like this? I don't believe it! It's that chopper again! Indeed, Michael. But this time we can defend ourselves properly. That's convenient, because it's payback time.
No, Devin, we didn't find anybody. Just robots. I assure you, Mr. Miles, the helicopter was flying on its own without a pilot or remote control. Okay. We'll get Bonnie to check out the data from the helicopter. Now that we have drawn attention to ourselves, we're going to have to be extremely careful. No arguments there. I've analyzed the data Kit retrieved from the robots, and I found something very strange. The main processor inside the robots looks very much like Kit's. That's quite disturbing news, Bonnie. Buddy, looks like you have some long-lost cousins from the bad side of town. That's not funny, Michael. Also, the tanks Michael and Kit discovered don't contain regular fuel. They contain highly combustible rocket fuel. I have a strong suspicion the mines behind Equus Industries are planning something big. We have to find out who they are and stop them before it's too late. There is another large industrial compound owned by Equus. It's not far to the south. Michael, I want you and Kit to investigate this site for further clues. You can count on us. I have added an extra power pack, just in case. Good luck. Thank you, Bonnie. terminal controls two gates. Michael, look, the gates are closing again. We must hurry. We're going to have to floor it to get past both gates. Correct, Michael. If we do not make it to the second gate before it closes, we will be trapped. Okay, buddy, let's go. destroyed a lot of robots, Michael. I believe these are barracks for the robots. Michael? You have become quiet. Yes, buddy. I've got a lot in my mind, I suppose. Would you like to talk about it? Mm, it's difficult to find the right words. It's like when you think you see something in the corner of your eye, but when you turn your head, it's not there. I think I know what you mean, Michael. The definition I know that comes closer to it is instinct. Michael? Yes, buddy? Look. Hmm, a lion? Correct, Michael. And where Goliath is, there's usually Garth. If it isn't Michael Knight. Long time no see. Stop the small talk, Michael. You don't have the bandwidth. So you're behind Equus. What do you want, Garth? I want the power and the money I deserve. And your head on a silver platter, for starters. You've got to hand it to him. Always straight and to the point. Michael, there is a strange device mounted on the front of Goliath. My sensors tell me it is some kind of portable laser. I guess we're in for a battle. Michael, we have disabled Goliath's shield. Kit, any sign of Garth? Negative, Michael. 
There is no one inside. Look over there. An exit. Correct, Michael. My sensors indicate someone manually opened the gate. The footprints in the sand match those of God. Do you see that on the ground, Kit? It's the same black mark as we saw in the town before. Yes, Michael. God must have used Goliath's laser to drive away the villagers. Obviously, he doesn't want anyone snooping around. What's he hiding? We've got to find him, Kit. Yes, Michael. And fast. Have we lost him? No, Michael. I've scanned an individual on the third floor of that opposite building. It's gone. Are there any robots to protect him? Negative, Michael. But there are some robots in this area. I believe this is where they're constructed. It's some kind of robot factory. Terrific. Garth's personal army factory. I'm going in after him. Are you sure, Michael? We can't allow Garth to escape. Listen, buddy. You're not going to be able to get inside that building. I'll keep you updated over the comm link. All right, Michael. Be careful. I found a way in. I'm on my way. Any last requests, Michael? It's not over yet. Oh, how I hate a sore loser. Can't we discuss this? You are sorry that doesn't fit into my schedule. I have a rocket to launch. A rocket? Are you planning a trip to the moon? <laughs> You're so ignorant, Michael. You want me to tell you my plans. Well, you're going to die anyway, so why not? The rocket will carry a satellite into orbit. That satellite is equipped with the most powerful laser ever built. So it's just simple blackmail, is it? If the government doesn't pay you the money you've asked for, you use your laser and kill innocent people? You're still just a playground bully with a very dangerous toy. You're not quite as stupid as I thought you were. But anyway, dear Michael, it's time to meet your maker. Your plan will fail, Garth. They're on to you. Do you mean those incompetent fools at the Foundation? Don't make me laugh. Goodbye, Michael. Kit, if you hear me, please step on it. Garth has tied me to a conveyor belt and I'm moving towards a shredder. I'm coming, Michael.
Thanks, buddy. You saved my life. Anytime. Let's get back to the semi and update Bonnie and Devon. Of course, Michael. Michael, our intelligence came up with these satellite photos based on information you delivered. The launch site is well hidden inside this mountain crater. According to night intelligence, Garth intends to launch the rocket tonight. Michael, this might be the most important mission of your life. The fate of the whole world may rest in your hands. Come on, buddy. We have to stop Garth's science project before he gets his degree in mass destruction. Bonnie, how do we get to the launch site? There is an entrance hidden somewhere inside this compound, but it's guarded by a very powerful laser. Garth has increased security in this area, so I've uploaded an alternative route to the compound on Kit's computer. I've installed an electrical shield in Kit. It's based on Goliath's technology, and it's still in an experimental phase, but I thought you could use it. The shield decreases the impact of enemy weapons, but using this shield takes up a lot of energy. I've also installed an extra power pack, to you both. Thanks, Bonnie. Kit, are you ready? I'm ready when you are, Michael. Remember, Michael, one man can make a difference. Kit, what's happening? It looks like an ambush, Michael. We cannot go back. Kit, any luck finding the entrance to the launch site? I'm currently performing a full scan of the compound. Michael, the laser has locked onto us. Buddy, we have to hurry. I don't know how much time we have left. Yes, Michael. Kit, is that Garth and Carr together? I'm afraid you're right, Michael. Michael Knight, you are like a pest. Hard to exterminate. Garth must have copied Carr's processors to build the robots. That explains why the robot processors look so much like mine. Carr, why are you helping Garth? The laser inside this rocket might kill thousands, maybe millions of innocent people. Garth and I have an understanding. He did not abandon me when I was on the bottom of the ocean, unlike these pompous humans at the Foundation. He has also helped me with some improvements. Michael, Carr appears to be quite heavily armed. Eliminate them. They must not interfere with the launch. Goodbye, Michael Knight. Michael. The extreme temperature of the fire is damaging my molecular bonding. Even the shield will not protect us against the enormous heat. Got you, buddy. System error does not compute. No, not the fire! Car, manual override! Manual override! Kit, can we save him? I'm sorry, Michael. The intense heat prevents me from getting a lock on them. Michael, we do not have much time left. We must stop the rocket from taking off. You're right. How can we stop it? We can try to disable the main computer that's controlling the launch, but it's located in the control tower. We don't have enough time to get up there. Why don't we try to blow up the computer? Great minds think alike, Michael. My sensors indicate a dramatic increase of the temperature inside the rocket's fuel tank. There's not much time before it explodes. We should leave immediately. 
Then let's get out of here, buddy. Devon on the phone for you, Michael. Congratulations, Michael. And you too, Kit. Thank you, Mr. Miles. Some days, everything goes as planned. Well, Michael, you're the living proof that one man can make a difference. One man and his car. Bonnie and I will be waiting for you both at night headquarters. We can't wait. See you then. Well, Kit, you heard the man. Shall I enable auto cruise? You got it. Michael Knight, a lone crusader in a dangerous world. The world of the Knight Rider. Mission completed. 